Thanks for watching another video with a nutrition tip for your better health. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, some research that was done about a dietary behavior that may help improve your heart health. But before I do that, I want to talk just a bit about industry-funded research. So there's lots of, of research going on out there, and because funds are limited, much of the university studies are being done by by researchers who are given money by boards. It could be the avocado board, could be the dairy council, could be the walnut commission, might be the orange juice council. There are just plenty of them out there. And, you know, there's their special interests. Their, their end in mind is to um, demonstrate that eating their food um, is gonna be healthy um, for the individual. So I have no fault with that. But sometimes the studies are not really well designed. For example, there was one avocado study where they their premise was that replacing carbohydrate in the diet with avocado would make the um, glycemic control better and improve heart health markers. And they proved it. But when I studied what they actually replaced, they replaced refined sugar and white flour and products made from white flour with, with avocado. And they didn't study, well, what would happen if you replaced those refined grains with whole grains or if you use some other kind of fat besides avocado. And so their results were good, but they really, the study was not well done. So I'm going to, I want to tell you that because it means that anytime I see a study that is sponsored by a board, I'm going to look at it with a very critical eye. So I'm going to tell you about a recent study. It's, it's actually a couple of years old, but I, I examined the study details with a very critical eye and the results of this study are pretty impressive. So bear with me while I tell you a little bit about how the study was set up. The feeding trial was done with 45 healthy, overweight and obese men and women. And again, they were investigating how including one fresh avocado in a moderate fat diet would affect cholesterol levels. And they compared that diet with an energy equal moderate fat diet and an energy equal or calorie equal low fat diet. Neither of those included avocado. And the researchers provided all the food for the participants. They ensured that the participants ate all the food for the entire trial period. Two weeks before the first blood draw, the participants were actually fed what is very equivalent to the standard American diet called the SAD diet. And in it really is ratios weren't much different than the moderate fat diet, but the the makeup was because the standard American diet tends to be very high in saturated fat. And we know just reducing saturated fat improves heart health. So after the two weeks when they were given the standard American diet, the participants were then randomly assigned into a treatment sequence of three diet periods and each one lasted five weeks. And they did a two week break between the diet periods. So all three study diets were lower in saturated fat. The low fat diet though was only 24% of its calories coming from, from fat, very little of it saturated. The two moderate fat diets had their calories come from about 34% from fat. And again, they were low saturated fat. And the researchers matched the macronutrients and the fatty acid. However, the avocado diet included one fresh whole avocado a day, and the moderate fat diet did not have an avocado, and it mainly used oils to match the fat content. The avocado diet provided nine more grams of fiber than the moderate fat diet because of the avocado. So the researchers reported that diet compliance was excellent, that the Participants self-monitored and their based on their monitoring adherence was 90%. And all the participants maintained body weight during the diet period. And if they hadn't, that would have been a confounding factor. 
So the researchers analyzed the blood for heart health markers. And they did this both right after the, the standard American diet feeding and at each of the end of the five week diet periods. And what they looked for were total cholesterol levels, levels of low density lipoprotein, LDL, and the ratio of total cholesterol to high density or HDL cholesterol. They also looked at the ratio of LDL to HDL, and they studied the level of triglycerides. What did they find? It was pretty fascinating. They found that compared to a moderate fat or a low fat diet, the avocado diet produced a reduction in the ratio of LDL to HDL and an improved ratio of low cholesterol uh, to um, HDL, total cholesterol to HDL. Now, either of these is going to be a marker for um, improved heart health. And they also found a reduction in total cholesterol and total low density lipoprotein. They also saw a reduction in triglycerides um, comparing the moderate fat to the low, to the overall um, avocado diet. So the researchers say, yeah, one confounding factor could be the amount of fiber that was added. And so further research would need to perhaps add the, an equivalent amount of fiber to a moderate fat diet. And of course, they didn't study what would happen if we replaced those um, oil calories with other sources of fat, say nuts. That's what the walnut board would have done. But regardless, what it says is the avocado was heart healthy and that the there was no weight loss difference between a low carbohydrate diet and a moderate fat diet. I'm sorry, a low fat diet and a moderate fat diet. Um, and if you're getting confused at this point, I wouldn't blame you because there's a lot of information here. But what I want you to leave with is two things. One, be critical of studies. Really, if you can get to the, to the actual published study and look at it, do so. Don't just take it on, on face value. And second is avocado is heart healthy. It, it is calorically dense, but you can replace other things in your diet with avocado and improve your overall health. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share it with friends. I love hearing from my viewers. So if you can leave me a comment, I would appreciate it. And if you um, have any questions about nutrition, please post them in the comment section. And I will try to answer them in future videos. Have a great day.